Strengthen the hip flexors, a uh, great way to help you with that upright position in the bottom of your squat. Um, all kinds of other benefits to it. Um, strong hip flexor, it's gonna help us with our toe to bar, our leg raises, any form of this motion. So one of the things we'll be doing for that, just our standing marches and different versions. What is important here is again, it's not just pulling my feet up in the air, I'm trying to activate this guy in here. So what I wanna think is I'm actually pulling my knee out in front and flexing that quad. Okay, so you see that position when I pull it up and that hold is very different from just pulling my leg up in the air. Okay, this easy, not much going on. Okay, whereas I wanna get that working, I'm going leg out in front, horizontal with that split second hold. Way to make it fancier, combining it with a carrier hold. So I'm gonna stand, cues from the other video, nice, tall, tight, good. And then one foot at a time, stabilizing, pulling that knee up in front of me and holding and feeling that through the hip flexor and the quad. All different kinds of ways that we will march or that we will work those hip flexors, but the mechanics are always the same no matter how we load it. Is again, it's a knee out in front, flex the quad, feel the hip, not just pulling up in the air.